It's been raining for the past four weeks now, but not this time. Join me in yet another night to photograph the biggest thing we can see in the sky. Andromeda Galaxy. Did you like that song? Don't worry, it'll come back. Hi Astro Addicts, my name is Tim and welcome back to Astro Addict. The new refractor will soon be on the mount and ready to go. I got a chance to test this setup a few days ago and it was amazing. The stars are pinpoint sharp, not perfect at the edges, we will talk about that later. And the field of view is such a great opportunity for all the big targets in the sky. Due to a lack of auto guiding I had some drift or some star trails in, the, in some exposures, maybe due to some periodic error. It's not possible to attach the guide scope to this rig because balancing it is just not possible. And that's why I added my off-axis guide I have for the mirror telescope to this. And I hope this, it will not make the balance any better, but I hope the guiding will at least get rid of the star trails. Well, it's now three hours later, just as I finished setting up clouds rolled in. And everything has cleared up now, it's now half past ten. I hope I can get maybe four to five hours tonight. The off-axis guider is definitely not working. I'm not getting any stars in focus, even with a small extension for the guide camera. I took the off-axis guider off, literally. And now I'm shooting unguided two-minute subs on Andromeda Galaxy. I held a straw poll on YouTube and the result did not surprise me. The field of view of this new scope is a perfect fit for this galaxy, really. Talking a bit more about the Q71, the focusing is okay, I'd say. I don't have full grasp on that yet. I will have to test it a few more nights to give a full review on that one. But there are so many stars. I, I'm The plate solver is having trouble plate solving because there are so many stars. I had to turn the plate solve exposure time down to 5 seconds, which is not a lot, but it is enough which is insane. While going unguided tonight is definitely a weird feeling because the periodic error on the mount is definitely never a good thing. But I hope the first two images looked good. No star trails even when zoomed in. I'm shooting from a bottle 8 light polluted backyard. So light pollution filter is a must. And I hope I can get any colors out of the galaxy. I will not talk much longer because I want to show you the subs I'm taking right now. Let's take a look. I really need to figure out a good microphone situation out here because the laptop is not picking up anything and I'm holding the DSLR in front of me right now as I talk. The sky looks pretty clear. I have seen in the forecast that another big cloud is supposed to be here. I don't know when, it gonna, when it's gonna be, but I want to get as many images as I can tonight. But let's look at this. We have two minute subs on Andromeda Galaxy right here. Let's look at how the Q71 performs. Let's look maybe at these stars over here. I can see some slight trails in there. Let me get a magnifier on this one. Well, it's not that bad actually. Let's look at some of the images before. I am right now pretty surprised by the quality of this quad. Let's look at the edges. I can definitely see field distortion at the edges, which should not be with a quad. Um, let's look at this one. It, it does look good over here. And there's the smaller galaxy. And this is always annoying. I don't know why this is always over here. Let's look at the bottom left. 
Yes, definitely feel distortion in there, can't help it. So the images look fine as a look at them without zoom. It may be some distortion correction in Pix Inside will help. But I think this looks pretty good right now. I hope I will be able to continue this for at least three more hours. And I will have to do the Meridian flip and without plate solving and without auto guiding I will have to go full manual. This image is a bit brighter. Let's look at the edge again. Yes, st still some distortion. Very annoying. Not very good for a quad. But this, this night is of course not a full review. I will need some more nights to get a full grasp on this telescope, but up to now I like what I see, really. Well, I hope I can leave this running until morning, and now I will probably go upstairs, turn the lamp off from shining into the telescope. I will have to do the meridian flip and go upstairs, but... But there's one more thing I wanted to mention before this video is over. You may have already seen it in the description of the videos. A few weeks ago I created a Patreon account. It was just a random idea just to try it out, but right now three people already signed up to support me. In the case you don't know, Patreon is a website where people can support their favorite creators they follow by donations and in return get some special offers. Over there I share my imaging data, I think I have maybe 6 or 7 projects there right now. Light frames, flat frames, stacks and bias. And with these sets you can start practicing editing if you want to. And if you edit one of my images you can share them with me and I will show them here on YouTube. And I will share some maybe special insights over there. I'm still working this idea out as you can see. But I can assure you the content on YouTube will not change. I will keep producing the best images and videos I can every time possible. I set up Astro Addict with my own working money and I will be able to continue it. Feel free to leave your comments and feedback about this down below and we can maybe disc uh, discuss some things and talk about things. I will always try to stay transparent and always try to say what I do and what I get. And this transparency is very important in my opinion. As for now, a big thanks to my current Patreon subscribers. Remember to send me the images you've edited with my data so I can showcase them in the next videos. And I told you the song would be back. Stay tuned for the first image of the Omegon Quad. Clear skies, and may the night be with us.